Hey guys, Kay here. So this is going to be the video to watch if you want to know what the best programming language is for 2021. So could it be JavaScript, which has more frameworks than Donald Trump has XYs? Or could it be Swift? Because clearly Apple's profitability is justified by their amazing innovation in the past few years. Or it could be Scratch. So I'm going to tell you what the best programming language is to learn in 2021. It does not matter. Pick one and learn it. Right, so I know what a lot of you are thinking. Oh, but C++ is marginally faster than Python in these certain situations, blah, blah, blah. If you're a beginner, then it does not matter at all. You just need to learn the concepts. Pick a language, any language, and learn those fundamentals. If you have a certain project which requires you to, I don't know, do something which a specific language will do better than other languages, then pick up that language as you do the project. Don't try and predict what you're gonna need that language for in the future and just sit there learning syntax. I know people who say they've learned like 10 languages and literally all they've learned is the basic syntax and how to do basic things. But when it comes to actually applying that and solving somewhat of an even marginally difficult problem, they just cannot do it. If you can pick one, one language and just master it, you'll be fine. Remember what Bruce Lee said, something about, um, I fear the man who, does 1,000 kicks, no wait, was it? One kick a thousand times, not someone who does a thousand kicks one time, something like that. I don't know, I can't remember, but you get the idea. The reality is, especially if you're a beginner, you're not gonna get hired for that first language that you learn. You're probably gonna get hired for another language. I learned Python first and I got hired for C Sharp. I know people who learned React and JavaScript and got hired for Java. It depends on the company and their needs. What they're looking for is someone who has potential to learn and when it comes to actually doing the technical interviews, they might ask you to do it in any language that you're you know, comfortable with. Or many interviews, they ask you not to write it in specific language syntax. They ask you to walk through how you'd solve a problem logically. And that is what you should be focusing on is the problem solving aspect of coding, not so much the syntax specifics of a specific language. Because when you're first starting out, when you're quite early in your career, it's not gonna help you that much. Now, this is a common trend I see every single year, best programming language for 2020, best programming language for 2019, 2018, and so on. To be honest, it doesn't matter. A lot of people, the fact that a lot of people are still picking up C++ as a first language, and that is an ancient language, kind of goes to show you that regardless of how many years go on by, people pick a language because of no specific reason, really. They just pick a language because it's the first language that they maybe come across and they learn it. And then once you've learned the concepts, can apply those concepts to other languages because you're just really learning the syntax once you've already learned how to do all of the fundamentals. So your basic data structures, algorithms, how to use APIs, etc. Got a really good video on um, learning APIs in five minutes. Check that out. So that just about covers everything. And here's a quick little sneak peek of some of the stuff I'm working on. So if you like stupid robots that annoy me for no reason, then definitely subscribe and like this video. Share it with anyone you think it's going to find helpful. Here's the little bird squad that keeps me entertained. And I shall see you in the next video. See ya.